What's going on guys? Welcome to the Keto Connect Kitchen. We have a very simple, delicious peanut butter cookie recipe today, and it's only three ingredients. We have some peanut butter, some powdered erythritol, and then one large egg. So super simple, easy to whip up, easy to get your kids involved, friends, family. And one thing to note is that when you're looking for your peanut butter or any nut butter, you want it to have one at most two ingredients. All this is is just peanuts. You might see peanuts and salt. That is a totally good option too. So anything um, within that range is gonna be perfect to use for this recipe. And then erythritol is a low carb sweetener. Some similar sweeteners would be monk fruit or truvia. And that might vary in terms of how much you need to use, but usually the package tells you like what's the equivalency to sugar. For our erythritol, which is powdered, we're gonna be using one third cup. So all you really do is you mix everything together, you make balls, flatten them, bake them, and then we eat them. So let's get started by putting one cup of peanut butter in this bowl. So a good trick is to like scoop all around the edges and that'll bring up a lot of the peanut butter. So we're looking at 256 grams here. It's a lot of peanut butter. Okay, perfect, 254, we'll stick with that. So I'm gonna first add the erythritol and then give that a quick mix so that the peanut butter is not as clumpy when we add in our egg. One large egg. And then we're gonna keep this simple, three ingredients, because the dough looks pretty perfect, but if you find that maybe yours is too oily still or it doesn't come together like a dough, you can add a tablespoon of almond flour, and additionally, you can add some vanilla extract. I think these will be perfect. So there's our dough. It's really nice and firm and stiff. So we're just gonna use a cookie scooper and make some balls flatten them and bake them. Doesn't need to be perfect because we're actually gonna just flatten them anyway. But I like a little roundness. Cookies are balled up and I made 12 here. You could probably make anywhere from 12 to 15. I decided to use extra dough and just make these guys a little bigger. But all we have to do now is flatten them and I'm gonna use a fork. You could use your palm, you could use a spoon. Whatever really you have, we're gonna go classic with a fork. So pretty simple. We'll give it a little crisscross there. Ooh. Okay, so that looks perfect. So all we're gonna do is pop it in the oven, 350 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. We'll keep an eye on them. The edges will start to get golden brown. It might be a little tough to see because they're already like kind of golden brown, but you'll be able to notice. So we'll be back when they have come out of the oven, cooled, and then we can taste them. All right, guys, we are back. The cookies have fully cooled. It's been like an hour and they're perfect. They didn't spread at all. So whatever size you make them before they go in the oven, they will stay the same once they're out. And you can tell they're like perfectly cooked. They're like nice and golden brown on the bottom, slightly on the edges. These smell so good. They were smelling so peanut buttery in the oven and Julius was just hovering by the oven and he never does that. Mmm, mm mmm, I love peanut butter. Those are really, really good. Strong peanut butter, perfect amount of sweetness, slightly soft, slight crunch, a really good texture. And you can make like sandwiches out of these, ice cream sandwiches or like peanut butter sandwiches, put some peanut butter in the middle. I would even keep these in my freezer, maybe after dinner, have one or two. I know they'll freeze well and taste really good just right out of the freezer. But link down below is the recipe, the instructions on exactly how to make this. Super easy, make it tonight. Make it with your family, your friends. I guarantee you they'll love it. So thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.